Okay, Spark OS new update is out version 12.5 of course based on Android 12.1 available for some of the devices and if your device didn't got this official update yet you might see the unofficial build maybe it's Spark OS version 12.5 let's find out some new things or the new changes which we have in this latest version stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till then the first change as expectedly we have is the July security patch a lot of custom rooms almost out with the July security patch except Corvus OS I think so Corvus OS will come with android 12 l and july security patch very soon right now not right now till it's not available till now but maybe in upcoming one or two days we'll see that update as expectedly if we take a look at this android 12 l easter egg unfortunately no android 12 l kind of easter egg available here i like in almost all the custom homes so far got the android 12 l style easter egg and honestly that's it's just about owns personal opinion because uh, that's not official that is unofficial themed kind of thing official is only android 12 so this is what we have moving on to the quick settings panel if you're able to notice we have some changes it's not kind of um, android 12 style it's kind of android 11 style but also if you compare it with some other customers like project blaze i think so this ui seems to be better than project blaze in the terms of ui kind of things if you're able to notice and yes alongside with that separate mobile data and wi-fi tiles are also available if you want to use this thing you can we found some few of the differences between some other customers and this quick settings panel but yes if you are able to notice these things this ui looks better compared to the other ones so far i don't know how but but yes they've implemented some new things maybe layout change i'm not sure but yes it looks quite good this is what the quick settings panel which we have the brightness slider seems to be good enough no bugs found in quick settings panel like swiping down or any kind of lags it's picked up nothing at all moving on to the battery style customizations here comes some new and new kind of battery styles options available for you with this new update for example if you take a look at the status bar customizations battery customizations we have ios style we have the m mix style ported for style battery modes we have landscape aero we have other modes available for you so if you love to do some customizations on advice then you have a lot of battery styles options available and you can use this thing if you want to it's up to you Moving on to some other changes, we also got the Smart Pixel feature with this update. If you enable the Smart Pixel, which will shut off the pixel, which might increase the battery backup for you. So if you're a battery backup kind of user that you need more battery backup, you can use this feature. It's already there and you can use this option called Auto Enable on Battery Saver. So if you use this thing, you can. By the way, right now, as the devices are having a very fast kind of charging options and alongside that 45,005, 4,500 and 5,000 mAh batteries. So I don't think so. It makes sense while using, while taking a look at the battery backup kind of things. The volume panel as expectedly is also themed. The project 404 kind of volume panel, which is now implemented in other custom rooms also, it's there. As you can see, the UI, etc., the animations, this kind of volume panel, it's just my personal opinion, is I think so, kind of 50 50 if you compare it with the normal Android 12 style. Not a major difference if you compare it with Descendant OS, Descendant OS has actually good kind of UI. Moving on to some miscellaneous options, if you're able to notice, we got the strict stand standby policy and background task freezer, sensor block per package and smart pixels, just showing you about this feature and this is the thing which you have. Strict standby policy, which means when dismissing from recents, this will force stop apps, which means whenever you dismiss the app from recents, the app will not simply close, that will force close, so yes, that might increase the battery backup and background task freezer which will you freeze the task with restricted battery usage when moving them to background and unfreeze them when moving to foreground which is something really interesting so two kind of new things which we have included in this miscellaneous option you can even use this option so in the terms of customizations there are many options available for you and alongside with all those you know battery kind of things for example if you want to save battery battery saver tweaks are there and if you're a user who love to use your device by considering the battery backup in mind then yes you can use this build on your device game space as expectedly it's normal it's not actually from the pixel ones we got this option kind of things as you can see we also have the overlay menu opacity level in my opinion this looks good you can simply decrease or increase the value so yes this will give you good ui 
and the game space you also have notification mod options available for you we have the notification mod options reticker and danmaku i tried using this game mode in one in one game for example subway surfers which was one of my favorite uh, favorite games while in three or four years ago maybe if you take a look at the game space you will see the battery percentage you will see date and day and we have the time we have the memory available and we have some few of the options fps info notification mod etc so these were the things these were the changes which we have in this latest spark os version 12.5 this was about the changes but alongside with that if you take a look at some few of the extra things we have same kind of options like with all android 12 based kind of rooms for example face lock fingerprint lock app lock as expectedly it's already present so nothing to talk about moving on to the battery options it already has a lot of battery kind of options available for you in customizations hub so yes i think so alongside with all those customizations if you were looking for battery kind of things i think so spark os is only the customer which has the better options for battery backup display sector same kind of things fireworks here we have some customizations like theming lock screen status bar gestures etc etc themes yes custom on and theming so if you want to use the black theme or if you want to use a custom color like you don't want to use the wallpaper base color you can use that thing fonts there are many fonts options available you can use a lot of signal styles which means how your status bar will look like you can use that and there are many options available for you same and that we have the mostly same icon packs options available pui is one of my favorite and a lot of users love that option it also includes some navigation bar styles options available for you so if you want to use this thing you can some brightness slider related customization some quick settings customization where we have the quick setting transparency yes in the terms of customizations there are many data usage option is there a lot of users were looking for that it's already there lock screen clock styles we have many in the terms of lock screen we have locks and clock style customizations where we have approximately five styles options we have some fingerprint related customizations we have lock screen media art related customizations and etc status bar nothing gonna talk about as it has almost same kind of customizations compared to other ones gestures double tap to sleep for status bar lock screen status bar etc same kind of miscellaneous we have screen off animations we have some notification and status bar ticker style options available so yes a lot of options are already present here these were things which we have i think so most of the things i've already talked about they are already shown you in this video this is about the changes this is about this new update official devices links are all available in the description go and check it out if your device didn't got the official update make sure to check out the unofficial build on your device groups this is also a very short and simple video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye